Hello everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft. Now last time, um, I finished the belt. It took me a while to get it all set up, off camera and stuff mainly. Um, but I have the belt. I have the runic belt of shielding, or whatever the crap it is. It's the Thalmcraft belt. Now, um, I did some more off camera, and I do have the runic um, necklace thingy. The 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 necklace uh, of the shielding thing. It's the second tier, actually. It's a special one of the bunch. But I have it as well. Um, I decided to get that as well. Well, just to fiddle around with it, because why not? I could, and I had the stuff, so I was like, eh, I'll just, just play with it. So I played with it. So, um, But that's not the only thing I've done. Um, I'm going to kind of go over what I've done as well. Um, it's kind of laggy a little bit. Uh, bear with it a little bit. I don't know why. Let me let me actually actually let me pause and let me fix the lagginess real quick. Okay, the lag should be fixed now. Um, yeah, it, it's fixed. Uh, it's almost night. Um, let me show you what I have done. Um, you know how I've got all these little doohickeys, uh, these landmarks outside the buildings, basically marking where I have built and constructed stuff like. Deco that used deco crap, where I've used deco crap. Well, I've gone through and put landmarks in front of every building. That's because I've built out in front of every building. Now I haven't run the power into every building yet, but as of decorating them, they're decorated. This one uh, I'm not decorating anymore, as it's, it is as it is. Uh, I haven't been in there in forever, except to just now. Because I don't, I haven't done think, uh, Tinker's Construct in a while. I built this thing. Um, that's ugly. But I wanted some type of utility pole to just have some of these things. This is how the HV wire of immersive engineering has to be hung. Because you have to have this um, to go into. Yeah, that's the relay. I wish there were some actual poles in the mod itself. That actually looks nice, but there isn't. I mean, there's those other poles, but they don't have, they don't work with other things. And I actually dug a hole here because this is where the power will go into, um, for the, the city. Now I just did this. It's gonna, this is gonna stay here. It's gonna be like a utility section, but I'm actually gonna run the power and it's gonna have a tesseract in there. And that's actually in the power section. But, uh, I think I've shown this building right here before, the office building. So let's just kind of show it off again. It's like an office area with some office equipment, filing cabinets and stuff, um, and just decoration and I'll, I'll come up to this. Uh, and while I'm in here and while this is at the town hall, uh, I have the clipboards. I pulled the clipboards off the wall because this is the, um, the, 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 the lists. Um, on this one, it is the automation list. I've pretty much decided I'm not going to do the automation. Um, not the way that I plan to do it because it's just not going to work the way I want it to do, so I decided I'm not going to do it. Uh, on the crafting to-do list, I took them all off, so I just took it down. So I just took it down, and I can actually store them away in my bag, because they're just, there's no point having them on the wall. Uh, and on these lists right here, I have done all the deco craft. The only thing I have left to do is do the skins for the villagers, because I've named them all. They're all named, besides the ones that, like the lumberjack, I pulled him up, um, because I haven't done the wood farm, the lumber mill. Uh, I've exited exit it off, but I may actually still do it. So I'm actually gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna do, I don't know if I'm gonna do it with him or if I'm gonna do it with them. That's why I'm just, I'm leaving it X because I don't really need wood. Because if I need wood that badly, I have the transmutation tablet. I can just pull wood out as much as I need. Um, I'll, I need, I'm gonna make a generic female and a generic male skin to replace all the males and females. That way I don't have to worry about making individual skins for each of the people. And I'll have personally made skins that I can reuse for whatever I want to. Whenever I want to. Because I really hate using skins that I didn't create. Um, I found the ones that I had for the farmers. But I don't really want to reuse them because they're not really my skins. And I can't remember the people created, who created them to credit them and all those other sorts of things. I can't find the links. Uh, I know where I got the skins from, but I can't find who created them and find the actual links to those things to link to them. So I'm leaving them off uh, anymore. Um, I decorate the grounds. I've got to decorate the grounds, the outside grounds. I'm going to wait until the end um, because i got to do the 
park around the skyscrapers anyway. And also rehouse the mine crap from a lot of villagers. Which, again, as has to be done at the end. Because until I have the skyscrapers, I don't want to place them down because they might get in my way. Um, unless that's the few that's actually uh, is already around. Um, they actually, some of them have houses already. And some of my people here, like these people right here, no longer live inside here. They actually live in one of the buildings. They actually have a house. So that's pretty much my thing is I just have to get the skins for the villagers, uh, and the uh, skins for the NPCs, and I have to decorate and rehouse the villagers. Uh, building list, as I said, the lumber mill, as I, as I went over it, the lumber mill, I really don't need it. Um, maybe we can just go with an uh, allegory that maybe I get things shipped in. Uh, maybe I get shipped in from uh, overseas um, once I build the ships. Um, maybe I get the, maybe that's an import, maybe I export other stuff and I get sh wood in from other places. And maybe that's kind of like an illusion there. Um, because I really don't want to have to... I don't see a place I want to place it. Um, it just... I just don't find a place that I was like, Oh, let's make a tree farm here. I just don't see the place that I want to call a lumber mill. It just doesn't look like a good place to me. Uh, I really wanted to do more with the immersive engineering used with water wheels and stuff with it. But I just don't... I just don't see the place um, to that I want to use, so um, I think I may. That's why I think that's why I exited. I was like, I don't know if I really want to do it. Um, I still got to build the ships, um, which will probably be the next build. I don't know if I'm going to use the ships mod because I really want to use deco craft on that, and deco craft and the ships mods, it doesn't work together. Uh, I tried, it crashed the game, and I had to reload a previous save, it destroyed it, so I had to, yeah. So I may not, because I really want to use DecoCraft, and I also want to use Immersive Engineering to use the strings, and actually have, you know, ropes being strung throughout the thing. I think it would look really cool to have ropes strung around. I just think it would look really cool to actually have a ship with ropes and things like that. I don't know if there's any, like, I know you can get paper wall. Um, and make it look like there's sale. What about, uh, cloth? Do you think cloth or fabric or... There's no, like, fabric stuff. There's nothing that looks like fabric. I mean, there is, in a way, because, you know, sales really aren't... I mean, if sales are cloth, it's like canvas. Um, that's what paper, I figured paper wall will really cut, because it's like paper wall, because I actually, if I made paper wall, uh, I'll, I'll go over that in that thing. If I made paper wall, though, you can make it like, like it lays out like glass panes, and it would look thin, and it would look really neat for it to have that effect, but I can't do that and use the ship's mod, so that's a trade-off. So I may make one that has the ship's mod and it moves, and the one that doesn't move, one that's static. So, because I'm going to make two of them. I'm going to make one medium size one and one uh, larger size one. The larger size one may be the static decorative one, and the smaller one may be the movable one. It's possible. The smaller one is probably better. Um, skyscrapers will be the last thing I build because it's the bigger project. And, and the gardens that go, the, the part that goes along with it. And that's the end of my list there. So really, I don't have much left in this thing. I have things I have to wait till the very end. And I have to make skins. So the skins I'll probably work on this afternoon or this week. Um, more than likely, I don't know how much longer this, uh, series will last because it's going to take me a good bit to build the skyscrapers and the ships. The ships will probably take a week of episodes. It's probably going to take a couple of hours to build the ships. Um, and it's probably going to take a couple of hours to build the thing. So it's probably going to be uh, a good little bit. Now, I may not have... Um, I'm also playing a 1.89 mod pack on the side as well. Because I've pretty much exhausted this mod pack. Uh, and there's things, things I can do in this world. Uh, and I'm also having glitches. You're not seeing them. You're not seeing me having to fight it for an hour to get this game to load. Um, I don't know what's going on with some of the things. But 
there's some things going on in the world. Um, and it looks pretty on the outside. I've got, I had this grand idea of what to do, um, in the end, but I don't know if I'm going to do it because I thought about, I thought about fighting a boss at the very end, but I'm like, that's not what I set out to do in this world. I set out to make a pretty village and just exist and stuff. A town for sure. It's like a city, a little mini city. Uh, I also created this guy. Uh, meet the archer dude that's got red matter armor. Now, I'm actually going to take off his red matter armor because um, I'm actually going to e EMC it again. But the reason I made this guy, I wanted to test something. And I tested it. I tested it in a creative, I uh, tested it in a, another world. And it does not work. Um, I promise you. He does not attack anything that does, uh, the ancient warfare dudes do not attack the inner dragon. Just to let you know. I'll let you know that. They do not attack the inner dragon. Um, uh, I, tr I tried. I, I mean, you might be able to do it with the command baton, but yeah. Because it's kind of pointless anyway for what I actually created in 4. Um, because the red matter armor is not infallible. I have found something that kills you. So, yeah. But as I talk about that, I'll show you around. I have actually gone in here and completed these things and decorated both the inside and outside. I automatically create bread um, using the ME system, and I have the stacks of bread being put on shelves. And upstairs is decorated too with villager beds and just some minor decorations, nothing much upstairs. Um, this is like a potion shop, an apothecary, and I get nether wart put on the shelves automatically. Nothing fancy there. And I made this a toy shop. There is no auto crafting here whatsoever. It's just a toy shop. Um, I already had the sign as a toy shop, so I made it a toy shop. Uh, the bank, still the bank. There's nothing fancy here at all. Uh, there's no door. Um, this has been done for a very, very, very long time. Let us revisit it. It's the church. Um, it's really nice still. Still cute. Still quaint and cute little church. Nothing fancy like my previous, one of my previous world's churches. Let's sleep. Now as I'm sleeping, let me explain what uh, the infallible boss, at the, my, where my infallible armor has a hole in it. Um, I did not try it with the runic shielding and I did not try it with the Odin's ring because I have the Odin's ring as well. Uh, so there's my amulet emergency shielding thingy and the girdle of runic shielding. I did not try it with the full setup that I have, but I tried it with red matter armor. But red matter armor cannot be is not invincible uh, through the chaos dragon, um, the draconic evolution. But I made the bar. It's just coal. I didn't want to have to mess with Martin quartz again, so I made coal as the bar. We decorated the rest of it on camera. Um, over here is just simple. Um, I got like a table and some chairs and stuff in here and I decorated all the outside here with some barrels and apples and things like that. But the ships will be out here. I think I'm going to dock one. Well, I can't really dock it. I guess I can put one here. As it's the One that can be here and the big one can be here and it can be like docking and the the smaller one can be out here movable or something. I think that's probably what I'll do. Or have a big one here that's docked and everything. But uh, every one of these have uh, are openable, and they have like random assortments of uh, decor craft barrels in them as well. Just random stuff. Um, over here, a little house over here. Uh, they have kitchenettes, tables, chairs, and they have beds up there. They're also villager beds, so I can actually put the Minecraft console build a lot of villagers in there, and they'll actually see them. You can actually see as I pass the houses that they also have decor craft stuff. Uh, Deco craft uh, kitchens, couches, chairs, and they have different decorations in them. Some of these bigger houses have di different decorations in them. I don't know if I decorated all of them, but like this one has a aquarium. There's another one that has bookshelves and a chair. This one has a harp. The other one has a piano. Uh, it's just different decorations. There's also lighter countertops and there's darker countertops. The bigger houses like this one has darker countertops and the larger stove. And the other ones have smaller countertops. They're just similar style sets up. Um, I can show you this one has like a set of a sink and an oven and a shelving thing and a fridge. Which you can actually use as a 
storage thing. Interesting. And they have similar setups throughout. See, there's another different types of sets up with different setups. So there's different little things. Pretty much just decent little houses. Um, I only have a couple of people living in these houses, I think. Um, so this one has a little house. There's beds over here. Yeah, so it's just basic, basic bed, a little kitchenette, and a captain chair. Some of it was emc and some of it wasn't. He's walking around his house and has a little chair and table over here. This one house has been done for a long time because that's got actually got that family in there. Once I actually get ready to... The reason they're fenced in is because I didn't want them moving around. Once I get ready to put the other ones around and build the skyscrapers and stuff, I'll release them. That way they can run, wander around as well. My uh, NPCs live in this house right here. This is their house. Um, I really needed to put another bed in there, but I have not put a bed in here. Um, I don't remember which ones they are. This is as far as my line got. Um, and I think that's pretty much as far as I got with the decorations. But, yeah. But yeah, in my test, uh, back to my testing of my Red Matter armor. Uh, I thought about doing a grand finale uh, with fighting the Chaos Dragon. Because I haven't fought the Chaos Dragon ever. Um... And I was like, well, my armor's pretty much invincible. Surely I can take it. But I'm like, but then I got thinking, is my armor invincible? So I went into a test world and I actually tested it. My armor is not invincible. Uh, with Red Hunter armor, the dragon does special attacks and the special attacks can kill you. The dragon hitting you does not kill you. The special attacks that the dragon does can kill you. He doesn't kill me right away. He did not kill me right away. But he did kill me. So, yeah. The Chaos Dragon is annoying. Um, I know older versions of it, uh, it was not quite so bad. But in this one, it is quite horrible. Um, if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm marking out the park. Just marking out the park while I'm here. Just marking out a park. Actually, no, I don't want you here. Um, see, I got, I'm, I'm just going to mark out the part. That way I can start laying where everything's going to be. I need to mark it out based on this thing because I want to incorporate that spire in it here. And here. There you go. There you go. Alright, that'll be my park, I guess. That'll be the park. That'll be the part between the buildings. Ignore the unevenness of it, because I'll, I'll fix that. Um, now, depending on where the skyscrapers will be, there's going to be like maybe one, two, three, and maybe four of them uh, towering in the background here. Maybe even more. I may even see edit them. I may even um, edit them. World edit them. Once I build one of them. Never know. I may just go crazy with it. We don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to build them legitimately first. Uh, just like it is these. We'll see. Um, but yeah. We're going to leave it here, I suppose. Um, next time should be the ships. Um, whether the episodes come up this week, I don't know. I do know this week I'm going to release the 1.8.9 uh, uh, um, version. Um, recording that I did, it's like an hour long. I actually did like an hour long special introduction to it because it's kind of like me getting started into it. Just me like finding, setting up around a place to live, mining initially, and just prowling in the mods initially and just like looking around things. Yeah, it's just something to flip through if I, you're interested in me getting started. It's kind of how I play, just goofing off at the very beginning, figuring out what I want to do, rambling around, mining a little bit, just doing this, that, and everything else. But right now, um, the loading on this world is having an issue. I can see it. Um, you cannot uh, as much as I am because I'm doing a lot of the stuff off camera that you... I'm seeing a lot of stuff off the camera that you're not seeing. Uh, I hate it. I really hate it. It's, a, it's, an, unfortunate, it's, a, it's an unfortunate thing with modded Minecraft uh, is when the world starts lagging. 
Uh, I'm a single, I'm playing single player wall, but if I come down over here, you can see it. The, the most prominent place to see the lag is in here. You can kind of tell right here. This is the, see if I turn, try to turn really quickly, you can see it. And this is with none of the machines, uh, there's some of the machines running back here. Uh, the one that's running is right here. Uh, and I've even stopped it. Um, uh, and you can see how much lag I'm getting right here from it. Uh, it's not even that bad. It's just kind of crazy. But yeah. This has been a great, um, moving on from the world that crashed on my hard drive. But, yeah. Could you imagine how much further ahead I would have been if I would have done that world to its full fruition? I wouldn't. I wasn't planning this though. This was not my intention in there. Though it was, it was something different. But yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it here. I'm actually gonna pull up all the landmarks now that I'm done with the houses. Um, the landmarks are gonna come up. I think what I'm gonna do towards the end, though, I think what I may try to do is in in install some type of shader mod. I flew close to this thing and it lit up me. Um, and see what it looks like with shaders. If it doesn't, if it doesn't look right, I'll just not have them on. But I think having shaders on might, might look good. I hate that the screen patches here. That was an unfortunate thing that happened with an update. And yeah, I think I'm done for the day. We're gonna actually hook up the power, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it a little bit off camera, hooking up the power and things like that. I'm going to um, start prepping the setup for the ships and stuff. The ships are the next thing to deal with. Um, and after that, we'll see. Uh, until next time, we'll see you then. Bye! And it's building next time, guys. Bye!